awesome. And uh, sorry, I got to pull up my presentation here. And how many of you guys are, you guys love Mongo? Is there anybody here that loves Mongo? OK, we're probably not going to be friends after this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> there will be soon. How do I do this? Present. OK, so my project is I'm building a Rethink DB module for Meteor. So I'm going to start by just talking a little bit about why I selected this. How do you go? Right. Why Meteor? Um, why do I have this slide up here? OK, so I was working at a startup, and I learned about reactivity. That's how I first got into Meteor. And when I started using it myself, it really felt like magic. And I wanted to understand how the back end was working. And that's one of the reasons I got into this project. And sincerely, in my heart of hearts, I believe it's the future of the internet. However, I was so disappointed because I have this feeling inside of me that Mongo is not what people should be using. Um, it's a really great tool for prototyping, but around the time that I started doing research, I was reading a lot of press on the internet that um, Mongo had trouble scaling. Uh, there were questions about how it would function in a production environment. Um, and you know, people were saying that their data was disappearing. I wasn't really a fan of the syntax. Um, and of course, you know, if you guys know, there, there are some difficulties involved with deploying Mongo to a sharded environment. So. Uh, Rethink DB. It has an awesome syntax. It's a lot of fun to use. Um, it was designed with a production environment in mind. Why am I doing this? And um, uh, it was, it's, it's just a great, uh, it's really robust, it's scalable, and it's kind of like the second generation of NoSQL databases. And so they like to think that they fixed a lot of the mistakes that uh, MongoDB and CouchDB made in, in the first generation. Um, there are some weaknesses, uh, you know, there are some issues with it, but there are with everything, right? So my progress so far, okay, so there were some problems. Rethink uh, only works with the newest version of Node. Uh, Meteor ships with uh, version 8, so it, start, it all started with a backwards compatibility hack for the Rethink driver. Um, I have a tables JS a validated insert, update, remove. A mini Rethink I wrote, it's a JavaScript version of Rethink that sits on the client side. And it works with Meteor syntax as well as beautiful, wonderful uh, Requel syntax. Um, I have a Rethink cursor that I implemented. And thankfully, I would just like to touch on this. Um, Meteor's code is written very well. It's very modular. And that is the reason that I was able to do this in the first place. Um, it's every single piece of it is so well separated that I was able to create a Rethink cursor um, that worked with the subscribe and publish uh, functionality that already exists. Um, and database query, what is this? Clicker. Oh, clicker, sweet, OK. Uh, database queries uh, wrapped in fibers. OK, so what's next for the project? Um, so this is a little map that I drew for myself. It, as I was digging into Meteor Source, it was uh, difficult to keep the entire thing in my head. So on the right, you'll see what actually happens in uh, Meteor right now. Um, we have the Mongo uh, uh, query to Mongo returns a cursor, which returns a live result set. And live, uh, the live result set does an initial caching. Um, and then it uses long polling to pull the database every 10 seconds, and then broadcast those changes to the client. The question that I asked myself when I got to this point was, can this be avoided? Um, do we need a live result set? Um, is long polling necessary? If you guys want to come talk to me after the presentation, I'm running out of time. Those are things that I'd love to talk about with you. Um, just a few things, you know, for example, when you insert a document um, or you update a document, uh, particularly with Rethink, you get a callback that tells you exactly what's been updated. So we don't need to use a diffing algorithm to figure out what the changes in the database were. The other thing that Rethink is working on right now is a, a database trigger. And those triggers will happen on the database and can bubble up all the way to the client side. Um, if that is possible, and it, it should be according to the Rethink engineers, um, you know, we won't need uh, live result set at all, or any kind of polling. Uh, final word, OK, I'm going to skip this. So thank you guys uh, so much. Oh, OK. 
No, um, so it's a work in progress. And uh, oh, the question was, can we use it today? Um, it's not live, it's a work in progress. I've only had about 10 or 14 days to work on it. I'm in the middle of another project right now. I'm looking for contributors. If you want to be a part of this, please come talk to me. I would love to have people help me out. Um, I'm the question it. was, is this a mental exercise? Is this exercise? a mental exercise? No, this is not a mental exercise. By the time, <laughs> <laughs> by the time it's complete, or, or not complete, but by the time it catches up to Mongo, it will be, in my opinion, a better version of what exists today. Yes? Uh, I have already. The question is, I, how are you going to get around the node? How am I going to get around the node thing? Um, yes, I already had. I just had to implement a couple of... Uh, of functions or a couple of methods that didn't exist before. One of them was array buffer slice. Uh, that was a big one. It's actually only like 50 lines of code, so it sounds cooler than it actually was. Anything else? Yes. Do I have what? Well, I have. I have. The question was. Do I have benchmarks? Um, yes. So I got to the point where I was writing. So. I, you know, I will say that when I was doing this project, I did model it very much after the Meteor code. Um, and I got to the point where I was implementing the long polling and I was asking myself some of these questions. And the, the theoretical part of it, the questions that I asked that said, do we need a live result set? Do we need long polling? That portion of the project is the only portion of the project that hasn't been implemented yet. Once that has been implemented, some benchmarking tests would be awesome. I'm really excited to see how those turn out. Yes. Do I have a team? Uh, no, I, I'm actually working, uh, so I'm a student at a school uh, up here called Hack Reactor. Um, and so uh, we have a personal project period. It's about two weeks long, and we get to pick something and dive into it. Um, so no, I, I don't have a team, but I, it's just me. But I, like I said before, I'm looking for contributors. Anybody who's interested in the project, please come talk to me. All right.